boys hop on kingdom and castles. We're going to recreate the United States and make it what it was like before Joe was in office. Trump, what is wrong with the United States now? And also, I'm a great president. Joe, we both know that's not true. Trump, there is nothing wrong with Joe being the president. Obama, there is no way you think there is nothing wrong with Joe. Anyway, what should we name our kingdom? Obviously, the USA, Joe. Yeah, Joe, what else would we call it? The Biden administration? All right, what island are we picking? We ideally need an island that has plenty of stone and iron to expand our economy later on and set up trade routes to make us gold. We also need a good amount of landmass for expansion so we can build farms and orchards. Trump, good thinking, but Joe, there is no way you're coming up with these ideas. Well, I do have a teleprompter to assist me, however. You shouldn't doubt my intelligence, Obama. Joe, I will always doubt your intelligence and also keep that teleprompter. All right, boys, I think I found the perfect island. There is plenty of stone and iron to improve the infrastructure, plenty of wood to help us out in the early times of the USA, and plenty of wood for charcoal during winter. Trump, where should we put our castle? Personally, I would put it on the edge of fertile land so we can grow crops nearby, and also make sure it says Trump on the side of the castle. Why put Trump on the side of the castle? Because I am the king. Also, I have towers with the name Trump, so now I need a castle with Trump on it. Well, out of everyone here, it only makes sense if Joe becomes king as he is the president after all. Yeah, Trump, you should be showing respect to me as I'm the king. No, if Joe becomes king, we may not see the USA fully establish itself as a global superpower. Yeah, good thinking, Trump. I'm sorry, Joe, but I'm going to have to agree with Trump this time. What? Why Obama? If I become king, everyone will get free ice cream. Joe, is your teleprompter malfunctioning? You do realize we haven't got the capabilities yet to make ice cream, yet alone get any food yet. Both of you shut the fuck up. Right now, we need to prioritize getting homes built for the citizens of the USA. I agree, Obama. However, we have no food, so I don't see how homes are going to help when our people haven't eaten in days. Well, Trump, once it's winter, everyone will freeze to death if we don't have houses. Yeah, Trump, we do need houses built ASAP. OK, fine. But you two are genuinely the most retarded people ever. How will we survive without food? Trump, I swear all you think about is food. Of course, you fucking sleepyhead. I'm starving out here whilst you two worry about a fucking house. Well, Trump, to be honest, you would just eat all of the food either way. Obama, of course I would. As I mentioned, I'm starving out here whilst talking to fucking retards who don't know how to survive. Well, Trump, why don't you build farms and orchards yourself so all of us won't die from starvation tonight? Joe, that is exactly my plan. However, you retards are using all of our supplies to make fucking houses, even though winter isn't near yet. Oh, trust me, Trump, winter is approaching sooner than you think. You're going to regret chatting shit about us. Why is that Obama? And also, I'm building those crop fields now so we can have a chance of survival. Well, you better share the food from the harvest, Trump. Do you understand, Trump? Yeah, yeah, Obama. As long as you share those fucking houses you built, we can call even. OK, Trump. Finally, everyone has agreed to something. Also, Obama was right. Winter has come sooner than expected. Shit, my crop fields haven't even grown yet, and those damn houses aren't built yet. Stop whining, Trump. Everything will be fine. Yeah, Trump. Well, if you two had some common sense, you would be concerned that we haven't got a food supply for winter, nor a shelter to stay warm in. Trump, one of our houses was just built. Fucking finally thought I was going to get hypothermia out there. OK, what should we do next once our farms are built in the other house? I think we should get to mining that stone node so we can expand at a rapid rate. OK, let's do that then. Finally, it's not winter anymore. We can now work on getting a stone quarry built and work on the infrastructure. Yeah, good idea, but first I need to prioritize certain jobs so we can progress efficiently. OK, I'm going to start the construction on the quarry. Also, where has Joe gone? <coughs> Joe, wake the fuck up, you sleepyhead. Hey, I was enjoying my nap there, you jackass. I was thinking about all the ice cream I ate the other night. Joe, let me get this straight. You're telling me you want to be king of this beloved kingdom, whilst all you do is sleep and think about making ice cream, although there is no way to get ice cream. You're meant to be acting as a fucking leader. This is why I'm the king of the United States. Bitch, do you realize I'm the president? I'll send the Secret Service over if you don't shut the fuck up, Trump. Trump, if I were you, I'd leave it there before Joe shoves your fat ass in prison again. OK, fine, but once I'm back in the office, I will be sending both of you fucking retards straight to prison again. That's if you don't end up in prison again. Obama, out of everyone here, you should be the one in prison for the amount of drone strikes you've used on villages. Trump, shut the fuck up. Can we focus on improving the United States instead of arguing? Yeah, I agree with the Obaminator. 
Bro, why the fuck are you calling me the Obaminator? Well, I have nicknames for both of you. You are the Obaminator and Trump is Trumpy Wumpy. Joe, I swear I fucking warned you to never call me that again before we left prison, you fucking sleepyhead. Guys, our fucking houses are all on fire. Joe, you better fix those houses right fucking now. No, Trump, why should I do that? Do it yourself. Joe, I am the king of the USA. You shall follow my commands or the consequences shall follow. Uh, fine. Anyway, Obama, as promised, I have food for you in return for the houses you have built us all. Thank you, Trump. Trump, I put the fires out. What do I get? Holy shit, that was quick. Did your administration do it for you? Also, you get nothing but my appreciation. Uh, uh, yeah. Boys, what should we build next? We should build a granary to store our harvest for wintertime. Brilliant idea, Joe. Okay, what are we waiting for then? Whilst you start building that, Joe, I built us more houses so we can populate our village. I'm glad to hear that, Obama, I'm going to build us a well so our townspeople can have a nearby fresh water source and be able to get buckets of water in case of another fire outbreak. Good thinking, Trump. I think we need more houses so we can expand faster. Mmm, Joe is right. I will build the well later on. Ah, shit knew I should have built that damn well. Joe, this is your fault. Trump, this is your fault. Should have not listened to the guy with dementia after all. I haven't got dementia. Joe, did you take your dementia pills or did you forget them as usual? What pills? Thought so. What? Nothing, Joe. Also, I'm building that well so this doesn't happen again. Anyway, I'm going to start mass deforestation so we can get enough supplies to improve the overall infrastructure of our small town. Also, what should we build next, guys? Trump, I've got two things in mind. One of those is to build a town square where we can host festivals for our townspeople. On the other hand, we can build a tavern where our townspeople can come to celebrate and have a good night out. Both, in my opinion, are worthy of building. What do you think, Trump? Obama, good thinking. I think I will build a town square first, then later on build a tavern. Joe, have you got any ideas on what we can build? There's no way this guy is sleeping again. Do you think he overdosed on ice cream before he got on? Yeah, he more than likely did Trump. Also, Michelle wants me to go out to dinner with her, so I'm going to head off Trump. Bye. Well, I guess I'm going to head off and go campaigning to beat this sleepyhead in the next election. Bye. <laughs> Obama, Joe, I think it's time again where we make America great again in kingdoms and castles. Well, this better be worth it, Trump. You always ruin my sleep schedule. Okay, Trump. Also, Joe, I swear you sleep like 18 hours a day. How are you tired? Well, Obama, I didn't have enough ice cream yesterday, so I believe this is the reason why I'm so sleepy. Hush, Joe. When aren't you sleepy? All you do is sleep and eat ice cream. That's not true, Trump. You're such a jackass. Joe, you better shut... Shut the fuck up, both of you. Can we just get back to making America great again? Yeah, Trump. Listen to Obama. Fine, but Joe, remember who's king. Anyway, Trump, how is the mass deforestation going on at the other side of the island? Pretty good. However, these fucking wolves keep killing our lumberjacks occasionally. Should we build a barrack so we can train soldiers to deal with the wolves? Joe, are you fucking out of your mind? If we do that, we will look like a potential threat to the other nations nearby, therefore not wanting to do trades with us. Calm down, Trump. It was just a suggestion. Joe, it's hard to be calm when you have a retard always around you. Ooh, ooh, I've got a genius idea. Joe, what could this possibly be after you gave us a retarded idea? We should build charcoal makers so our citizens have plenty of charcoal during winter to stay cozy and warm. Holy shit! There's no fucking way Joe came up with a brilliant idea. Yeah, Trump, you should never judge a book by its cover. Joe, that was the most cringe shit you just said, but I'll let it slide. Hmm, what was I gonna do? Ah, yes, build our citizens a beautiful tavern where they can enjoy a night out and celebrate me becoming king. Fucking hell, you've got the biggest ego I've ever seen, Trump. Deal with it, bozo. How Obama can you say that what I said was cringe when he just said that shit? I'm sorry, Trump, but Joe isn't wrong. Shut the fuck up, both of you. You both know I'm the better president. Exactly, that's what I thought, silence. Anyway, I'm going to build us a stockpile. Good idea, Obama. Now we can store the charcoal somewhere safe during winters. Guys, should we start building cottages so we can house more people? Guys, hello? Trump, I'm going to only talk to you if you apologize for what you said about us being presidents. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Joe and Obama, for speaking the truth. Okay, anyways, Trump, it's a good idea to build more cottages, but I still think we should get some more roads down and then place them. Yeah, good point, Joe. No point in wasting fertile land for houses when it could be used for orchards and farms later on. 
Guys, what does that dragon symbol mean in seven years? I don't know, probably when Jill will come and pay us a visit. Shut the fuck up, Trump. Jill isn't no dragon. Biden, you know what I have said is true. Even Obama agrees. Shut the fuck up, you orange. Don't bring me into this. Guys, what's that noise I just heard? Holy shit, it's a Viking invasion. We have no defenses. Calm down, Trump. Your castle we built has some of the best archers the United States has to offer. Thank God thought this would be the end of the United States. Also, thank you, Obama, for acknowledging that the castle is mine. No, Trump, it's my castle. I'm the president. Deal with it, bitch. Well, you may be the president of the United States. However, I am the king of the United States, so deal with it, Joe. We should at some time build a dock and survey the other islands nearby and see what the other nations are currently up to. I agree, Obama, however. We may as well build trading ships to get stone and iron so we can expand quickly and build up an army. Then go conquer the other nations and assert dominance. Shut up about conquering other nations, Trump. We need to see if our archers can deal with the Vikings invading us. Well, Joe, I hope you didn't handpick these archers. Obama, you better have handpicked them, otherwise the United States will collapse. Trump, of course, I handpicked them. That's why they are dead. Okay, at least that's been dealt with. Thank God you picked them, Obama. Wait, what the fuck? Another Viking invasion already. Obama, can you let my archers deal with this invasion of Vikings? Joe, are you out of your fucking mind? My archers have already dealt with the Vikings and know what they are doing. Your archers would just sit there and eat ice cream all day long. Oh, Mao, Joe, your archers would fall down the stairs of the castle as usual. Shut the fuck up, both of you. You both are absolute jackasses. Watch Obama's archers not kill them this time. Okay, Joe, how about you bet the presidency on this? Deal. Joe, you are about to lose the presidency. You made a big mistake agreeing to Trump's bet. Yeah, yeah, Obama, your archers can't do shit. Okay, Joe, watch them sweep the floor. Also, enjoy losing the presidency. Lamau, Joe, you fucked up really bad. Also, here they come. Let us see what they will do to us this time. Shut up, both of you. Let's watch. Okay, Joe. Joe, you will regret this. Lamau, Joe, you just lost the presidency. Um, um, shit. Joe, I did say you would regret it. This was rigged. Trump paid the Vikings to lose the battle so he could win the presidency. Joe, stop being a sore loser. Just accept you lost the presidency to the greatest man alive. Also, Joe, you know more about rigging than I do. Fuck you, Trump. Joe, I expect you to resign within the next week and hand over office to me. Enough, you two. Trump won fair and square. Anyways, I think we should build a road all the way to the north end of the island so we can transport logs more efficiently and have the capabilities to expand north further on. Great idea, Obama. Also, we should get foresters so they can replant trees so we can have plenty of wood to use. Okay, let's start building this road then. Okay, the road has been finished. I think we should also build more cottages to house more people. Good thinking, Trump. What should we do after we build this? I don't know, Obama. I've got a brilliant idea. Go on, Trump. Okay, so we have a surplus of wood from my mass deforestation operation, so I was thinking we should build a wall around Trump Castle to protect it from future attacks. Also, make the wall big enough to hold a treasury inside of it so we can tax the citizens of the United States. Of course you want to build a wall, Trump. However, there is a slight issue we can't build a wall because we have roads around the castle and farms blocking the wall. No, no, Obama, that isn't an issue. I will destroy the roads and farms around the castle that are blocking the wall's construction, and then I will rebuild more farms and a new road around. Trump, are you sure this is a wise idea? There are so many other things we could build that will benefit our people instead of a wall. Joe, unlike your ideas, mine are all wise ideas that have a good purpose behind them. If the castle falls, so will the rest of the United States. Trump has got a good point, Joe. We don't know what other weapons those Vikings have. They may have catapults, they may come as an army. The point being, we need to be prepared for battle. Okay, the wall is coming along. I'm gonna get a large treasury down so we can begin bringing in gold, therefore allowing us to set up trade later on and better homeland defenses and armies. Trump, wouldn't the Vikings just prioritize stealing our gold from the treasury over the castle? Joe, that's exactly why they are both inside of the wall perimeter. If they wanted either one, they would have to break through the wall. The wall also allows Obama's archers to have plenty of time to take them out. Guys, I think I'm going to head off. I need to get my beauty sleep. Okay, okay goodbye, goodbye Joe. Joe. Trump, I'm going to go spend some time with Michelle. I'll catch you later. It's Manchelle anyway. Goodbye. 
Guess I'm going to go get ready to move into the Oval Office. Goodbye, guys.